here let us have a look on a relation between kinetic energy and linear momentum in previous class we have discussed what is meant by kinetic energy and uh, linear momentum is nothing but the product of mass and velocity of a body so linear momentum is represented with letter p that is p equal to mv and the kinetic energy ke equal to half m v square so now let us see the relation between these two quantities kinetic energy and linear momentum so we know that kinetic energy ke equal to half mv square now so now multiply and divide with m so by multiplying and dividing with m we will have m square v square upon m so that is m square v square see already p equal to mv no so this we can write as p square or uh, let us write one more step half into mv whole square we can write now upon m or uh, this can be written as mv square in the sense p square upon m or this can be written as p square by 2m so kinetic energy ke equal to p square by 2m or uh, in terms of uh, linear momentum if you want to write p square equal to 2mk and p equal to square root of 2mk since so some problems uh, we made uh, required with this uh, formulas and now let us uh, see the graphical representation about this quantities graphical representation we are coming to the case one let us consider if p is constant p in the sense momentum if the linear momentum is constant then what happens is kinetic energy will inversely proportional to mass see as we are having the relation relation is ke equal to p square by 2m as momentum is constant kinetic energy will be inversely proportional to mass that means if mass increases kinetic energy will decrease and if uh, mass decreases kinetic energy will increase and uh, if you see the graph for the mass and uh, kinetic energy mass kinetic energy see the graph will be like this as the mass keep on increasing the kinetic energy will keep on decreasing as the mass increases gradually the kinetic energy it decreases and coming to the case 2 if kinetic energy is constant if kinetic energy is constant we will have like this p square will be directly proportional to mass or p will be directly proportional to root mass m that means actually both are directly proportional to each other as kinetic energy is constant if uh, momentum increases of course if mass increases momentum also will increase along with the mass as kinetic energy is constant and if you see the graph for uh, mass and momentum mass momentum graph the graph will be like this mass and momentum graph will be like this and next in third case in third case if mass is constant if mass is constant then momentum is directly proportional to or p square is directly proportional to ke Uh, p is directly proportional to root over ke and here the graph of uh, momentum and uh, kinetic energy momentum kinetic energy graph will be like this that means uh, as mass is constant if momentum increases kinetic energy also will increase along with the momentum so these are the three cases 
in first case momentum is constant as momentum is constant the kinetic energy and mass are inversely proportional to each other as the mass increases kinetic energy will decrease and in second case kinetic energy is constant then momentum is directly proportional to mass that means as the mass increases momentum also increases or uh, we can say like this as the mass uh, increased by root times then momentum also will increase and third case if mass can mass is constant here in third case mass is constant as mass is constant momentum is directly proportional to root times of kinetic energy 